We're going to tie a variant of a stonefly nymph. Start with a bead on your hook and start your line right in the middle. And make wraps all the way to the back. At some point, cut off your tag end. To make several wraps there at the bend of the hook so you get a little ball or a little bump and you'll see why here in a minute. Take two goose biots and you put them right there, right at that little bump, and that helps it so that they spread outwards and give you a nice tell. But you don't want to go too far back because then that bump uh, doesn't really help anymore. It's not the best view, but you can kind of see how they were spread apart there. Then cut off the excess. I'm not sure what this is, but it's a little plastic rubbery type thing. But this is going to make up the body and it makes really nice ribbing. So you're going to tie that in and make sure not to go over the goose bites there as I did this time. but. You need to be careful, otherwise it will mess up the way your tail is spread. But just make it all the way about, all the way, about three quarters of the way up the hook. And then tie it off. Make a couple of their wraps to tie it in and secure it nicely then you're going to get some thin skin for the backing cut just a nice little sliver and tie that one in then we're going to get some dubbing And this is a black dubbing with a little bit of icing or flash in it. You're going to make a little bit there at the back. And now we're going to add the legs. Your legs are going to be made out of that black crystal flash. And we're going to put, you put it behind, wrap it around your thread so that you can tie it in. And then make a couple wraps around then we're going to do the same on the other side so once again you wrap it around your thread and line it up to where you want it to be on the, on the fly and make a couple wraps now we're going to get some more dubbing and this is going to go between the two legs this helps give the legs a little bit more profile and so that they don't stick right next to each other then you're going to get some more dubbing and pull those legs back the front legs back and add a little bit more to the body right there Now you're going to pull the thin skin over the back to, to, to tie everything in and create a little backing right there. Uh, stoneflies sometimes have segmented casings, wing casings right there, so you can do a couple little folds if you want to. But I found that this works just fine, and then you tie it down and cut off the excess.
We're almost there, so you whip finish. And then trim your legs to the length that you want. And that's it. This fly has worked great for me in in the winter. And I drop a zebra midge below it. But it, it's a great little stonefly nymph pattern.